Ladies and gentlemen, it is 6 30. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. on our agenda is uh, to honor our students who received a perfect iRead 3 score. Thank you. Yes. So we had a number of students between last year and this year um, earn 650 points on their iRead test, which is actually a perfect score. Um, so that's tremendous. There are years we don't have any. And so to have this many in the past couple of years is a, a really awesome. And it also shows how well they were focused in on that because I mean, to get every single question right is, is amazing. So um, when I call your name, please come on up and we'll get you a certificate here. Micah, was Micah not? I didn't see Micah. Okay, Vanessa Schroff. Come on up, Vanessa. So proud you stand up here, okay? With the Hudson, there you are. Hudson Wood. All right. Good job. Good job. Okay. And up here, Margaret Elt. Oh, you're here. Okay. Claire. Then Owen. I know Rex was on his way. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it. I know McKenna Field. And then, is that everybody? Okay. All right, so a round of applause, please, to our first Now, if I were you, I'd grab a piece of cake and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, parents, for bringing them so to do that. Items and that is uh, approval of the minutes from April 22nd, uh, 2024, regular meeting. And did everyone have a chance to look those over, board members? Any corrections or additions? If, uh, and then we'll move on. The next set is the approval of the minutes from May 7th, 2024, the public meeting. Questions on that? Third, the approval of the minutes from the May 7th regular meeting. Nobody? We will move on. And number number four, oh, what, Stephen? That uh, May 7th regular meeting. It shows that I was in attendance, but then I didn't vote. What? I thought it said that you came in late. You came in late. Yeah, well, it says that I joined. Oh, because it was an earlier vote. You didn't vote. Mm -hmm. You weren't here for the first vote? Correct. <coughs> Any other questions? No. <laughs> you were present, you were just tardy. Correct. <laughs> present, so just the tardy. <laughs> we got to put details in there. Okay. Um, and uh, back to uh, number four approval of the minutes from the May 7th, 2024 study session. Any questions or concerns about any of these? If not, I will um, accept a motion that we approve the minutes as read as a consent agenda. So moved. Thank you, Casey. Second. Thank you, Ethan. All those in favor, raise your right hand. 
Motion carries six to zero. Moving on to the financial report. We'll begin with the, um, the operations fund. And, okay, I'm having a moment. No, you don't have the correct balance. That's what I thought. We usually did it cut me off. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well, this is done service. Thank you. My, my uh, copier cut me off. Sorry. in the um, <coughs> operations fund is $393,478.63. To the negative. Under, yeah. Negative. Negative. <coughs> Great. No, Jana, has that transfer not gone in here yet? Yes, the transfer has gone in. And it will be reflected on the next one, right? This was as of 4.30. This was as 4.30. 4.30, okay. correct. Yes. Okay. All right, moving on, I got, what are you at? There's the education fund. Yep, I got cut. Okay, in the education fund, we have a balance of one million ninety two thousand. Sorry, I always make my bigger. And uh, $31.21. Any questions on that one? This was worthless. I printed it out and it all did. Okay. And, and then on the, uh, debt thank you, debt service, current balance is $1,498,268.05. Any questions on the financial report? Did you say the transfer item that will be in the next report? Yes. Yes. Will. This was as of May, or uh, April, April 30th. 30th. Got it. Yeah. It looks like there's one transfer at least that's right. listed. Yeah. And our funds should come in in June, which will be reflective. Okay. Okay. Um, also, we have uh, next we have the uh, claims totaling one million forty-seven thousand three hundred dollars and forty-three cents. Any questions on that? And then we have the payrolls totaling one million ninety-four thousand six hundred seventy-one dollars and sixty-five cents, and that is for the payroll for uh, May third and May seventeenth. Questions. So at this time, I would approve a motion that we um, approve these funds as read. So moved. Thank you, Stephen. Second. Thank you, Casey. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. Action items. Approval of Superintendent Jana Vance's mm -hmm. contract for the 24-25 school year. Um, typically, the superintendent's contract is three years, but we are about two years behind. I'm getting this done. Is that where we are? It's, it's just taken forever, but in order, we got to get this one done and then we can move on to uh, what's going to be a three-year contract, which is what we typically do. Any questions it's on? It's technically a three year. It's just that we were already in the middle of it. We're right. already in the middle of the three year. <laughs> different. Anyway, it's the same, but different. Okay. Right. Um, and just a note, the actual contract is correct. The heading, though, it's not really the 24-25 school year. We have, are approving um, the three years, but we're approving the salary for the 23-24 school year, which is obviously nearing an end, but that, that's what we're approving. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Any questions about the superintendent's contract? If you know, I will, uh, anything from, from the community? Molly, everybody else's staff. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, Molly's staff. Molly, Molly's staff too, okay. <laughs> okay. 
you're right. I but forgot. She's dual, dual roles. But dual she's role. been coming here since before she was. I know. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, if there are no questions, um, I would accept a motion that we approve the superintendent's contract as presented. So, so I'll second. Casey and Jenny. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. Thank you. You're welcome. You get to stay another week. Okay. <laughs> 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 going on well. awesome. <laughs> the next agenda item is approval of the overnight FFA trip to the state FFA convention June 19th and 20th, 2024. <clears throat> Anybody have any questions or concerns about that? I know this is a highlight for a lot of the FFA kids to go to the state convention, and uh, um, it's always a worthwhile adventure. They learn a lot at these things. So, any questions from the community? Any questions from the board? All in favor? Oops, I can't say that. I'd accept a motion. Make, make a motion. <laughs> Stephen, thank you. Second. Thank you, Ethan. All in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. We're gonna break for a minute. Bring him on up here. Thank you. Luke, bring him on up. Come on. So Rex Miller here. Like to honor Rex Phillips for his perfect score in I read. So at Manchester College June 10th through June 13th. Again, something the kids look forward to. Does anybody have any questions or comments about this trip? Anything from the gallery? If not, I will entertain a motion that we approve the uh, overnight football camp to Manchester College. Thank you, Casey. Second. Thank you, Ethan. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. <coughs> Next, we have a reading of the policies, which can be summed up in this little page right here. And if anybody wants to go through, <laughs> if you look at the agenda, there's about, I don't know how many there are this time, it looks like 21. 21 uh, policies, most of which are technical corrections, um, changing a policy that was specifically for administrators to include more or to pull administrators out and do them separately for whatever. It's just, an, it's, it's just a change. It's not anything that's going to change the way we work. Did you have a question? Well, there's 20 no, numbers. Yeah, we were just talking about the number, but since some of them are just fully redacting to put into another one. Right. Yeah. We're, we're, some of them are being pulled out because they're being wrapped into another one as well. So, anyway, this is the first reading. We will read them again in June and again in July. And at the third reading, we will vote on them. So, you have plenty of time to look through them and let us know <coughs> how you feel about them. <laughs> Moving on, student and stakeholder focus donations. Uh, Amber, has that changed since? Good. Okay, I always have to check. Uh, the first donation for Columbia Elementary School, the amount is unknown. It was a box of clothing for the school nurse from the Greater Marshall County Children's Resale. Second, Little Elementary School, $300 for one school, one book for the Manchester <coughs> Lions Club. Little Elementary, $1,200 for one school, one book from Everwise Credit Union. Rochester Middle School, $300 for any program the school chooses from Everwise Credit Union. Rochester Middle School, $100 for Stacy's Closet from Everwise Credit Union. Rochester Middle School, $11.90 in box tops from the box top program. I didn't know they were still doing that. Okay. One, Rochester Middle School, $150 for the PBIS program from Blake Hardesty. 
Rochester High School, $1,500 for the Willy Wonka performance from the NCIF Tom Wilson Memorial Fund. Rochester High School, $500 for the Arrive Alive Tour from Smith, Sawyer and Smith Insurance Agency. Rochester High School, $500 for the Willy Wonka performance from the NICF Rochester Telephone Company Fund. Rochester High School, $500 for the Willy Wonka performance from the NICF, Rochester Telephone Company Incorporated Fund. Rochester High School, $100 for a Ride Alive tour from Roadstar Driving School. Rochester High School, $200 for the Arrive Alive tour, Jeff Klinkhammer State Farm Insurance. $700 for the senior breakfast from the Everwise Credit Union, and that is coming up this Friday at 7 a.m. Yes. <coughs> expect to see you all there. I can see you. Mm -hmm. RCSC, uh, 1, 000, excuse me, $136.64 quarterly statement RCSC from the Kroger card participants. That is a heap of money, and um, we're eternally grateful to our community for being so generous and kind and making things happen for our schools that would be pretty tough to do without you. So uh, again, thank you for the donations. Um, I would entertain a motion to accept the donations as read. I do have a correction. I'm sorry, I okay. don't mean to interrupt. The Willy Wonka from Northern Indiana Community Foundation with Rochester Telephone was duplicated. It was duplicated. Yes, I apologize. Yeah, that's okay. It's a good thing I didn't add them up. All right. <laughs> I just was that's fine. Thank you, ma'am. No, I'm sure how I know how that kind of stuff happens. All right. So, uh, any questions about the donations? I'll entertain a motion that we approve them as read with the uh, correction. Thank you, Mark. Second. And Ethan, thank you. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. And oops, we have um, the personnel report. Recommendations for student services. Aubrey Franklin, administrative assistant for the Learning Center. Hourly rate, $14.26. Thank you, Casey. Summer work projects. Michelle Yeager, lead summer work project crew. Hourly rate of $19.62. Resignations. Resignation. <clears throat> Mallory Benzing, Guidance Secretary, effective <clears throat> May 24, 2024. Retirement. Milton Pesek, Special Needs Bus Driver, effective May 24, 2024. Catherine Pesek, Special Needs Aid on Bus, effective May 24, 2024. Any corrections or additions? Any questions? If not, I uh, will accept a motion that we accept the um, personnel report as read. So moved. Thank you, Ethan. Second. Thank you, Mark. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. And then we have superintendent's business. Go ahead with our directors and principal reports. So, um, Jason, we'll start with you. We'll end with the high school after we've done everybody, so we can keep all the dates and times straight moving into these next few weeks. Okay. Well, a couple of things uh, that have happened here recently at uh, Columbia. Uh, today we went and visited Little, our first grade uh, group. All of our students and staff went over, and uh, Luke had a nice little tour put together for us. We got to go into a lot of the classrooms, spent some time out on the uh, playground, and they got to meet Luke. And, Kids are real excited about going over there, and uh, I think that's a great trip for them. Eases their mind a little bit, and uh, they realize that Columbia is a little or a lot of life, and the layouts and the classrooms and things, so we appreciated that. Uh, we had a wild about kindergarten, which um, this is only our second year doing it, so we're kind of still learning, um, but that's a, it's an event that we put together to bring our incoming kindergarten parents and kids in to the school before open house so we try to get him in uh, the last uh, couple weeks of school and it's just an opportunity it's kind of the same thing as we do for our first graders to riddle but uh, get our, our kids uh, and parents in to meet some teachers um, a lot of them are pre-k k 
kids, so they're already kind of familiar with Columbia, but may not spend much time actually in the building, so uh, they still get a chance to meet some of those uh, kindergarten teachers. And uh, we've got a couple events for them. They get to go ride a bus if they want to, believe it or not. That's a huge deal for a lot of these kids getting on one of those buses. Um, and, so like uh, a monster bus? Just <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a regular school bus. <laughs> so, you know, some of these kids, uh, not all these kids go to preschool, so, uh, you know, they uh, they see these school buses riding around, and, and it's a big deal. And I'm not going to lie, but there's some parents that really really enjoy getting on them, too. I, I mean, there were some parents that were excited about it. Um, Jenny Smith. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, it's just, it's a laid-back kind of a thing that we would like to do and get them in during the school day, and, uh, and our staff did a really nice job with that. And we had a real good turnout. Lots of parents showed up, lots of kids. <clears throat> And the kids just had a blast. So um, our pre-K uh, finished. You, uh, I know in some of our uh, other meetings that we've had in the last couple of years, we've been sharing our road to uh, getting our preschool uh, to the point where we could be a My Way pre-K site. And um, over the last couple of weeks, we uh, finally reached that pinnacle, had uh, the state, the My Way pre-K people come down and do an inspection of our uh, school and our pre-K program. And uh, they gave it to us right there on the spot. Um, so we are now a uh, level three pass to quality site and a My Way Pre-K site. And we are the only My Way Pre-K site in Fulton County at this time. So um, that's a good job. my my Pre-K team did, did a good job, and they uh, they worked very hard. There's been a lot to it, and if you ever want to know the the requirements and stuff, I'd be happy to send you the 47-page rubric that they use. Uh, and that's not an exaggeration of what they're looking for when they come in. So um, it's been pretty stressful for them, uh, but they've handled it uh, extremely well, very positive. And now there's a lot more work to do because uh, we have to, um, there's just more steps to it. So we're going to continue to do that, but um, we should be up and running for the start of this school year. We've already notified parents. Um, we've, and uh, the, the My Way Pre-K people are going to try to reach out to those parents uh, to try to get them set up. Um, there's you know, some uh, qualifications that you have to meet to, to meet their, their requirements and stuff. And uh, so they're, we're, working, we're working on that piece right now. So very proud of my Pre-K uh, team and, and the IAs and everybody that's worked in there. Uh, the kindergarten went, took a zoo trip, and I'll tell you what, the, the weather didn't cooperate with us, but the parents that showed up to help, my kindergarten team and uh, the zoo staff did a good job. And the kids got a chance, uh, you know, we, we ended up sending the kids back a little bit early, got them out of there a little bit early, uh, but it was a good trip. They, they got to see some of the animals, the ducks were out. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know, sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate, but um, the kids did great, parents did great, we're, we're real happy for them. RHS, um, we went over, uh, the entire school went over, for a middle school presentation of the rainbow fish. This was last week. Uh, the RMS kids did a fantastic job uh, presenting that and, and uh, performing that. It was a musical, uh, and they just did a great job. And um, our kids really enjoyed it. It's a book that they've uh, read or heard before, and so uh, they, the, the kids did great, too. So we were real, real glad to be able to go over and do that. Um, and then our Zebra Zone winners went to RHS for a culinary class. And uh, they got to uh, work with some of the high school kids over there. And those high school kids were just very welcoming. They brought them in. They took two kids to their kitchen and taught them how to, uh, to make pizza quesadillas. And uh, they kept it pretty simple. But um, it was a real good experience for them. And, uh, and we're really appreciative of that as well. Some upcoming things. First grade field day tomorrow. Kindergarten water day tomorrow. Uh, so there's a lot going on tomorrow. Uh, we have an artist in residency that uh, Mrs. Weaver has put together. We have a pianist, a couple pianists coming, um, and they will uh, be performing for our kids, talking to the kids about it, uh, and kind of the, the steps in the road that they took to, to uh, get to where they're at with that. Uh, we have pre-K graduation taking place on Wednesday, and um, we have Zebra Zone on Friday. So, uh, is it okay? Do you have any questions for Mr. Stewart? Mr. Bernanke. Okay. 
Um, yep, that time of year, so all our grade levels have gone on their field trips, so we're good there. Um, the second grade had their special person day. That was really nice, an ice cream social. We had a big turnout, I think over around 160 uh, special people came to visit our school that day. Um, so shout out to our front office, though, for getting all those badges and stuff prepared ahead of time. Um, third grade did their global day of design. And uh, fourth grade did our color run. Thank you, Cassie, for hosting us today. We've got iLearn complete, iReady complete. Uh, Snyder already hit on the artist in residence with Mrs. Weaver. They'll be doing that at Riddle as well. <coughs> and uh, our field day is Friday. And we've got some curriculum training we're going to be doing in uh, June. <coughs> so that's what's going on at Riddle. <coughs> Any questions? Lots of the same. Um, of course, we had iLearn and our iReady um, last round of testing. We did, um, we made it a competition this year, and I feel like it really helped. <laughs> our kids are competitive, and that's great. Um, so we had iLearn Olympics the Friday before we tested. They did um, academic and athletic competitions of all kinds, some Mario Kart, some trivial pursuit type things, and then some athletic things as well, some pool things as well. Lots of teachers jumped in the pool as well. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, and then the end of it comes when they get their scores. So we just announced today which grade level one and seventh grade one. Very, very proud of them. They made huge gains, so I'll share that with you guys later. But very proud of the students and teachers for giving best effort on that. We did have our NJHS Washington trip, and that went very well. Kids loved it. We had a great tour guide, which really helps to make that trip. She was amazing. We're trying to get her to come to Rochester and be sub because she's a retired teacher. <laughs> and she's kind of a nomad. She moves around, so there's a chance. Um, we had a great Teachers Appreciation Week. Um, we appreciate all of our teachers and IAs and, and hope they felt that. Um, we had our end of the year dances, both with seventh and eighth grade at the high school, and then fifth and sixth just last Friday. It was a space theme that tied into our Lit Dub today, which was also a space theme, so we used the same type of decorations there. We had our final band and choir concerts and also had our musical The Rainbow Fish, which um, I will echo what Mr. Snyder said. I went to the Saturday performance and they, they blew me away. They did a great job. Um, we have a couple field trips left still. Tomorrow our sixth grade is going to Indiana Beach. And Wednesday our fifth grade is going to a South Bend Cubs game. Um, today we did the fourth grade color run. They came over and we welcomed them for just a little bit and introduced everybody once again. And we also did our lift-up recording, so that will come out on Friday. Always anticipated. <laughs> um, we have awards coming up, seventh grade breakfast coming up, I learn Olympic celebration coming up. So the seventh grade one, they get a celebration Thursday afternoon, and our PBIS day is the last day. We also did um, seventh grade, went up two homerooms at a time to the high school to get tours of the high school and all of that as well. So, <coughs> Any questions? Oh. What's seventh grade breakfast? Similar to senior breakfast, low key though. <laughs> like we kind of just do it at the middle school. Don't, parents don't come, but okay. So just for the kids. Yes, the kids get like uh, we're doing Rochester bagel, deli sandwiches, donuts, juice, milk. They kind of sign your books and mingle around. It's just an extra special thing for seventh grade before they go to eighth grade. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tan parents come. <laughs> no, they can. No, I just want the. I know. <laughs> I'll save you a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> this is Atkinson. Um, Atkinson Middle School. So at the high school, um, we've had we finished up the FFA greenhouse sale. I think they just had their half price on everything. They also had their end of the year banquet. We had our job recruitment fair, which we had about 30 businesses there, and I know for a fact that some kids got hired on the spot that day. So. Um, we find that a great success. Um, we had our end of the year band and choir concerts and their senior nights. We did the eighth grade reality fair, which is always really fun. Friday night was our senior honors night, which over $1.3 million was given away in scholarships to our seniors, which I've all day tried to think of a word that is beyond grateful, beyond <coughs> grateful, and there's just not. But we are beyond grateful, beyond thankful for what the community and what these people um, provide for our graduating seniors. Um, then Sunday was our FC YLA graduation. We also had our Teacher Appreciation Week festivities, which is always fun for us to do. The seventh grade has been coming over, like Mrs. Murphy said, and going through tours of the high school and meeting us and everything. 
we finished up ILEARN testing for eighth grade, and we had AP testing in a lot of our, excuse me, upper level classes as well. Um, coming up at RHS, we have finals starting tomorrow, and they'll continue on Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, we'll have upperclassmen awards, I'm sorry, underclassmen awards. And then Friday is also senior breakfast, the walkthroughs at the other building, which is always the highlight of the day. Um, and then we'll have graduation rehearsal. And then the next Friday, May 31st, is baccalaureate and graduation. And then we'll have intercession in summer school. My kids ask me, well, what parties do you have at the high school for the end of the year? And I said, we have one big party, and it's called graduation day. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited. It's one of our favorite days of the year. So it's neat to see all of the work that goes in from Jason's level to there, and to see some of those kids that we still, we said today, like, we are pulling them to get them to that finish line, <laughs> um, to see them walk across the stage is just the best. So that's where we're at. Ryan with transportation. Well, energy transportation today we had our end of the year <coughs> evacuation drill that went very smooth and quickly at dismissal. Thanks RMS for their help for timekeeping. Uh, and then throughout the next couple of days we had a handful of field trips to finish up the year. Uh, Cam is finishing up the summer summer school routes and that should be ready tomorrow or Wednesday for them to get out to the buildings and on the website. Uh, the, and we got a Wednesday, we find out for the summer parks program on times, then for that program, before we can schedule a bus for <coughs> that. And rounding out the year, we will be conducting an overview of all our buses to ensure the safety and then for the next coming school year, for they're ready to go and our annual bus inspection is with the state police officer Randy McPike, June 16th. Then we'll go from there and we'll be ready for 24 25. Thank you. Any questions? Kevin, is the end of the year bus drill, is that so the evacuation <coughs> drill, is that something that's required? Like a, yes. a beginning, middle, and end type of a thing? Yeah, middle, uh, beginning and the end. Right. Yeah, that's by the state, uh, Michael LaRocco down there, he wants us to do it twice a year. <coughs> but with all the, especially with all the accidents happening. They're thinking about doing it four times a year. Is it June 16th, Father's Day? I don't yes. know. That's what they, he, he wrote down on his calendar to give me as a. <laughs> yes, you are correct. Right. <laughs> that's how, I, I double check it. They'll call you later. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he told me, he said, think be ready. Okay. <laughs> so he's coming the 25th. <laughs> 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 okay. Why did we <laughs> he never had the end of the month. Wendy, with food service? So we have completed the contracts. Uh, beans will be ours for the 24-25 school year for our uh, milk delivery. Uh, Gordon Food Service has won that again for the 24-25 school year. Contracts are supposed to be ready by the very latest to uh, the second week of June. So we should be able to have them and then turn over to you by then. Um, I was able to get an additional $20,000 worth of commodities. We'll get that shipped in June, so it'll help support the summer program. Um, we start feeding May 28th at Columbia and at the high school, and that's for breakfast and for lunch. It's open to any students or children that are in the building and children that are in the community. They can come from Valley Corporation. We feed pretty much anybody as long as they hit that age requirement. The following Monday in June, Fulton County Public Library will start serving lunches, and then that following Tuesday, the Kiwana Public Library will also start serving at that time. Thank you. Hey, say again on what days that you serve on. Is it every day? Every day, yeah. Every day? Yep. <clears throat> the guys are doing a great job over at the maintenance building doing the grounds and getting ready for graduation. Um, seems like we still got a lot more work to do, but They've been, they've been doing a fantastic job getting ready. Uh, and then we're gearing up for um, the summer shutdown. <clears throat> and add a full renovation on top of that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. When, is the, uh, when is the last day for the pool? The end of this month. 
Okay. Yeah. If the bids come in, where, where we need them to come in. Exactly. Okay. I just need to know when we put putting chemicals in the pool. <laughs> Before we uh, leave, I want to thank everybody. I think that the board and the community can see the unity that goes on across the district with utilizing programming and resources across the district. You hear it in food service and maintenance and transportation and the communication that has to happen there. And this is the best team I've worked with in regards to being able to um, lean on each other, utilize the programs all for the betterment of the district. So thank you for a very successful year and the students most surely reap the benefits of all of that. So thank you. That's all I have. That's all you got? That's all, all right. Got. Anything else from the group, from the board? I just Anything? want to echo what Jana said. I really appreciate hearing things like all of Columbia got to go over to the high school to watch the middle school perform, like that proactive way of exposing the students um, to different parts of the district is really good. Thank you. And I know it, it requires extra work and I really appreciate it. Anyone else? At this time, I will adjourn the meeting. Have a good evening. <laughs>